get the value of the digits in the number, up to 50. For these problems, we are going to be splitting up the number. For example, we have here the number 35. Now we need to split it up like this. We have a T and a U. The T stands for tens, and the U stands for units. Now you also might know this as the ones, and that's all right. So you know that units just means the ones. Now let's split up this number. So the first number here, the five, is in the units. So let's write a five right here. That would mean that the three is in the tens. But when you're doing this, you want to make sure that these numbers added together equals the number you are working with. Now, does 3 plus 5 equal 35? No, it equals 8. Now, what we should do then is add a 0 to the 3, because then it really is in the tens. Just think of tens literally as a 10, and a 10 has two numbers. Now, 30 plus 5 equals 35. There you have it. We have split up 35 into tens and units, a 30 and a 5. Let's try some more, and we can move a little faster now. Now we have the number 19. So we know that the 9 is in the units, and the 1 is in the tens. But remember, tens, think of a 10, and in this case, we can actually write a 10. And now 10 plus 9 equals 19. 54. Let's split up 54. The 4 is in the units, and the 5 is in the tens, but it's in the tens, so it's actually 50. 50 plus 4 equals 54. And our last problem, we have the number 24. The 4, we know, is in the units, and the 2, we have learned, be in the tens and that you need to add a zero to it so that it equals to 24. 20 plus 4 does equal 24. Great work solving these problems and I hope to see you again soon.